Before you even upgrade the headlights on your vehicle, you first have to understand what type of headlights you have. Do you have a projector or a reflector? By the end of this video, you are going to be an expert. On the table right in front of me, I've got a bunch of different reflector headlight housings. This one right here is a reflector housing and it originally uses a halogen bulb. A halogen bulb is that orangish color bulb that you see. It's got a wire wound filament on the inside and it's not very bright. It's safe to assume that you wanna upgrade that to something like an LED bulb or an HID bulb. Thankfully, since we made this video before, there's been a ton of other bulbs that have came out and the technology has progressed. You can now take an LED bulb and find something that directly replicates your original halogen bulb to replace that halogen bulb and it actually be an upgrade. This one right here uses a dual filament halogen bulb. So it uses the same bulb for low beam and high beam. That's why you only have one reflector area. The reflector is these fluted lines on the inside here, as you can see. The lines go up and down and then they work their way out. Think of those reflectors as like a mirror. The halogen bulb is illuminating, bouncing off those mirrors and then aligning onto the wall to give you that beam pattern. You can about guarantee that you're going to get an improvement over stock if you put one of the LED bulbs that we have tested. In another video, we've tested over 25 bulbs, but in this very headlight, we have put over 300 LED bulbs into it to find out which ones are best. If you get something like the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 or the SV4 bulb, or even the all new Morimoto Two Stroke 3.0, to save you guys a 30 minute video as to why we say those are best and they create the best beam pattern when compared to other LED lights, let me show you something real quick. This is the original halogen bulb out of the dual beam headlight housing. If you have something like this, like this 09 to 18 Ram, it'll look like this. On the inside, if you look real closely, there is two wire wound filaments and those are in a precise location and when they get put into this reflector bowl, they are the exact spot that they need to be to give you a beam pattern that's not going to blind oncoming drivers. So what you need to look for if you're buying an LED light, you need an LED light like this one, this is the SV4, that has the LED chips in the exact same spot as those original wire wound filaments. If there is a bunch of LED chips on here, like a multi-sided bulb you can see off of Amazon, it is going to scatter the light when you put it back in this headlight housing. And then you're just gonna blind oncoming drivers, it's not controlled, and it's the last thing you want when upgrading. Now, if you have this headlight housing, you can also do an HID kit. That is going to be essentially brighter, but you are gonna have ballast, and even some vehicles you need to mount some relays. It's a lot more work than just a plug and play LED bulb like this one. So now what about this one? It's from the same vehicle. This is a 09 to 18 Ram, but they have a single filament bulb. This headlight has a separate low beam and a separate high beam. But before you just buy that same bulb I was just showing you, you have to buy a bulb that replicates this. This is an H11 bulb in the low beam and you need to get the same LED bulb. You need to get an H11 LED bulb. That one will look something like this. As you can see here, it only has one LED chip instead of two on the face of it. It is double-sided, you got one here and one on this side. Again, if you get a multi-sided LED bulb, this is not where the LEDs are originally in this headlight either. These are still designed to be at a precise spot inside this reflector to then give you that proper beam pattern. Since we made this video last time, there's a lot of other reflectors on the road, like this one from a Ford Bronco. This one right here is an LED reflector housing. That means it's got LEDs built in and then the LEDs bounce off the reflector and then shine out. Since this one is an LED reflector from the factory and you can't just change out the bulbs to upgrade them, you are gonna have to look into something like replacing the whole headlight assembly to something like the Morimoto XB headlights. These have an LED projector built in. You can't upgrade these bulbs either because they're already good from the factory. Not only will it be a better improvement when it comes to light output, but it arguably is gonna be more stylish too. It's gonna look a lot better than what you see here. So if your vehicle has one reflector area and the bulb does both low and high beam, you have a dual beam reflector housing. If you have two separate reflector areas, one that's for low beam and one that's for high beam, you have a single beam reflector housing. And if you have something like this where you can't replace any bulbs on the backside at all, this is an LED reflector headlight. And make sure you keep into account your bulb type. If it's an H11, a 9005, or a 9006, 
just get an H11 9005 or 9006 LED replacement bulb or HID replacement bulb. If you want to know what's better, HID or LED, we've also made videos on that. Everything you just saw was all reflector housings, but now we got projector housings, and this one's gonna throw you off. This one is from a Tacoma, and you might see something like this. As you can see on this side, we've got a reflector housing still. This is for the high beam. The high beam is reflector, and this right here is a projector. Now, how does a projector work? This right here is an aftermarket projector from Morimoto. This is essentially what is inside the newer headlights with the projector housings. It looks like this. The light is actually getting emitted from the back side of this projector, and it's essentially getting focused through a magnifying glass. So you're gonna get a lot sharper cutoff line. The beam pattern is going to arguably be better than your halogen reflector housings that we just saw. This aftermarket projector utilizes an HID bulb on the backside, but some of your vehicles out there will have a projector housing, but still use that halogen bulb. Just like this right here, as you can see the projector right there, this has a bulb on the backside, so you can still upgrade the bulb. You turn it counterclockwise and you remove the bulb from the backside of your headlight, and it looks like this. This bulb right here is a single filament bulb and it's a 9005. So if I wanted to upgrade this with this projector housing, back in the day we used to say don't put LEDs in projector housings, but like I said, technology has progressed and you can now use an LED bulb in a projector housing and it's going to look pretty good. Here's the original halogen bulb, this is what it looks like. And with the SV4 bulb put in its place, it looks like this. So can you upgrade it to an LED bulb? Yes, and it looks great. You can also upgrade the halogen bulb to an HID bulb with the projector housing. Now one benefit of having an HID bulb over an LED bulb is that you can get more of that custom look. You can choose what color HID bulb you want. Do you want a 4000K, 5000K, 6000K? There's a whole bunch of different options. GTR Lighting has a lot of really good HID bulbs that last essentially forever. Now let me try to not confuse you for a second because what I just pulled out of here was a single filament bulb. If you look inside this halogen bulb, there's only one wire wound filament. But why is that? Because this projector right here does both low beam and high beam. The thing is, a lot of the projectors that you'll see on today's vehicles will have a solenoid and it'll get power and then drop this cutoff shield. So the solenoid gets power and then this shield moves. This is going to give you the difference in light output from low beam to high beam. It's the same light output, it's the same bulb, it's the same wire wound filament and it just moves the light up a little bit. So if you have this headlight housing and it does both low and high beam, you have a dual beam projector in it. And we call this one a bi-halogen projector because it's got a halogen bulb. You might hear the term bi-LED, bi-xenon. Anytime you hear the word bi, it just means it does both low beam and high beam. So let's get back to this one. Remember, this one has a reflector for the high beam and then a projector for the low beam. If you take out the bulb, this is a halogen bulb, it looks like this. This is an H11 bulb and it's extremely common. Since this one only has a low beam in the projector, it is a single beam halogen projector. It's not a dual beam projector like this one over here. But now there's one other one. What is this? This is from one of our installers, Ram. And this was a long time ago when he had a reflector housing, but he wanted to upgrade to a projector. Can you do that? Yes, you can buy a projector housing like this one from say Morimoto off the shelf and you can do a couple different things with it. You can retrofit it. If you've heard that term before, it essentially means you're going to put your headlight in the oven. You're gonna take the lens off of it and you're going to modify the back, drill a hole, and put this in place on the inside of it. Dial it in just right, put your lens back on, and you're good to go. You now have an incredible beam pattern out of a projector housing where you originally had a reflector housing. Let's say you had a projector, but it wasn't any good. You can open up one of these headlights too and put an aftermarket projector in place. You can get the correct size for your headlight housing, buy the projector, and then modify it by throwing it in the oven and doing the same process. A lot of people out there still do that, and to this day, that is one of the best upgrades you can do. If you've got a halogen bulb in one of these projectors, you can about guarantee that an LED bulb or an HID bulb is going to be an incredible improvement over your original lights. 
Now, if you don't want to just change the bulb to get an improvement of light, you can replace the entire headlight housing assembly. I've seen tons of really good headlight assemblies from Alpharex and GTR lighting. I've seen a ton of them from Morimoto lighting as well. So if you want to upgrade this complete housing, definitely recommend doing that. Now the big kicker, is upgrading all these lights even legal? Well, to be honest, if you're going to replace your halogen bulb with a different halogen bulb, that's just fine. If you're going to replace your halogen bulb with an LED bulb, that's not technically DOT compliant. For street legal, DOT compliant headlight upgrades stick to the original bulb type or upgrade the entire assembly to something like the Morimoto XB headlights, carbide headlights, or Alpha Rex headlights. These aftermarket LED headlights are street legal, they look better than stock, and perform better than your original lights. So now you're an expert in projectors. If you have this that does both low and high beam and it's got a halogen bulb in it, say buy halogen projector. If you got something like this one where you have a reflector on the high beam and your projector only does low beam, this is a single halogen projector. And if you see something like this driving down the road, you'll know that they put an aftermarket projector in a reflector housing. Go to headlightrevolution.com, type in your year, make, and model to see everything that's a good upgrade for your vehicle, and also go to YouTube and see all the other videos that we have filmed to let you guys know what is best.